What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video, on first take, they're going to be talking about James Harden. And is he going to be the MVP or is the Greek freak? So let's see what they have to say. Is the MVP race over? I believe it is. Um, I believe it is. Uh, look, you have some people that look at the Greek freak, and he's absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, I give him mad love and credit, but I give uh, Budenholzer credit as one of the great, great coaches in this game. And obviously his arrival in Milwaukee has made a significant difference. When I look at James Harden, that ain't about Mike D'Antoni. That's about James Harden. Yeah. Who's averaged 29 per game at least for the last four years. I just want to say James Harden is sensational. Mm -hmm. He's one of the great offensive players we have ever seen in the history of this game. <clears throat> his ball handling skills his J, his ability to draw contact, his majesty in terms of drawing fouls, getting to the free throw line more than anybody in the NBA. He's just a magician. Uh, he's something special. And when you consider the fact that there has been over three times at least he scored over 50, the number of times he scored over 40, the fact that he has dropped at least 30 on every single NBA team in this game. Yeah. Over 20, 29 of the teams in the NBA. And he scored over 30 on all of them. Chris Paul was out. Clint Capella was out. You know, Kenneth Reed wasn't even there. And this man has done what he's done as the league MVP, as the primary target, as the one being targeted by the opposition. And to still go out there and to have Houston in this position, Houston can actually win the championship this year. I know Golden State's a favorite, and we ain't betting against them. But oh, Houston coming is around to my position, position, are you? I, I, I am coming there. I am coming there. I'm not there yet, Matt. You don't really believe no, no, that. I'm so, yeah, there, there, there is a good chance that Houston could put in some work. Definitely. But the only reason why I say it doesn't look too good, because where's Houston been the past two years? What's happened? What happened to James Harden last year? Chris Paul was hurt. Uh, uh, Harden, he was just missing shots left and right. I think they missed like 13 threes in a row. So the year before that, I mean, so everybody knows Harden can ball. There's, there's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Golden State fans are scared of Harden. Well, I'm scared of Harden. I know he's a baller. And I know at any moment he can get his head right and start dropping buckets on you. But what can his supporting cast do? So, you know, I, I have the utmost respect for James Harden. Like I've said in other videos. But he doesn't do it when it counts. He just doesn't do it when it counts. So, all oh, this is good. And, you know, the hoopla, the MVP. We've been here before. You know, with the whole, uh, you know, the, the this whole bowling out during the season. 30 points in each, every every team he's played against. You know, the 32 point, um, the 32 games with 30 points in a row. He's done all that. It's all great. It's getting a little old now because we already know you're great. What can you do at the next level? That's when it counts. So let's keep going. Let's see what they have to say. No, I'm conceding to Max. I'm coming there. I'm not there, but I'm coming. Yeah, Harden's he's got to that, do what he does in the playoffs. That, he's that great. Mm -hmm. There's no question in my mind. As far as I'm concerned, Max, MVP votes over. James Harden can sit down right now, and I'd give him the award. Right if now. Harden, if Harden can replicate his regular season performance in the playoffs, they could win it all. They can win it all. That's what I've been saying. I'll say this. Exactly, Max. They can't. If he could do what he's doing now, he could do it in the playoffs, he'll definitely give Golden State a run for the money again. Again. They can get to, uh, to uh, a game seven like they did last year. Especially if he has all the cylinders. He's running on all the cylinders. But he's got to do what he's doing during the regular season. He's got to do it through the playoffs. And this, I, I hate to bring up that one other guy that has to complain that just moved uh, over to the West. Uh, he's complaining about not having any, no supporting cast. He's supporting about not having anybody. Welcome, James Harden can put in work. Chris Paul's been hurt. A couple other supporting cast guys for Harden's been hurt. And Harden's got his team right up there. Like they're top five right now. They're going to make the playoffs. And it's been James Harden pretty much by himself running the shop. How come the other guy that just joined the West? I don't want to say his name. I'm pretty sure you guys know who I'm talking about. How come he can't do it? He could do it in last year with the, in, in the East, Eastern Conference with Scrubs, but he can't come over to West and do it with Scrubs. James Harden is doing it with Scrubs. He's going to make it to the playoffs. They're going to get ranked high. Who else? Who else is out there doing it big? Um, uh, 
uh, what's the other teams? Uh, I don't want to say OKC because Westbrook, Westbrook's doing it big, but he's got help with Chris Paul or uh, Paul George. But yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. It's about James Harden in the MVP race. He has, by the slightest of margins, a force to pick right now after that performance. I have Harden as my MVP, but it's far from over. Look, just, I don't think you can say, well, it's Budenholzer on the one hand for the Greek freak. It's not D'Antoni for Harden. In fact, it's the Greek freak and Harden that are responsible for their own, great, their own greatness. You and I both agree with that, I'm sure. But who else deserves credit for the positions they're in? Yes, Budenholzer has done a great job with that team. But it's not just D'Antoni, it's Daryl Morey. When, when Daryl Morey, the GM in Houston, surveyed the landscape and thought, okay, you need a superstar to win a championship. There are none available. Um, who do we go and get? He identified Harden as a guy who people saw as a potential star but was, in fact, a superstar waiting to be discovered. He made a great trade for him, and then he got a coach in D'Antoni who absolutely contributed to what Harden's doing. The only thing Harden does is shoot the three and get to the paint. I mean, he has the ability to do it, the step back three and get to the paint and hit free throws, the Euro stepping and all that stuff. But he's he's in a structure that allows him to do that on every single play. So if you're going to give and uh, Antetokounmpo, if you're going to give Budenholzer credit for him, you got to give D'Antoni and Daryl Morey some credit for Harden. I think that cancels out. So we're left with... There is no doubt that uh, Harden gets fed the ball. Harden is pretty much the whole team. But with that said, everybody knows he's the target. He's the target. He's the guy that you want to stop. He's the guy you want to shut down. And people don't do it. He doesn't get shut down. And you know he's going to get the ball consistently. So it's it works. You can look at it either way. Let's keep going. Their play. Look. By the most advanced metrics, Stephen A., whether you look at PER or ESPN's overall ranking, it's either the Greek Freak 1 and Harden 2, but really 1A, 2B, or vice versa. The ESPN rankings have Harden barely ahead. PER at this moment, I believe, has... So I think a lot of people are going to be looking at James Harden because of, like I said, the 32 consecutive games is scoring 30. Every team he's played against, he's put up 30 points. You know, he's pretty much the only one on the squad that's the balling big time. I know Chris Paul is there, but it's pretty much Harden there by himself, balling big time. And just the popularity. He's got MVP already. He's had it before. And, you know, the Greek freak, he's still trying to make his way to, you has to he has to go above and beyond to dethrone uh, a, a past MVP like James Harden, especially if we having the year that he's having now. The Greek freak would have to go above and beyond whatever James Harden would be doing. If they're neck and neck, you got to give it to the to the championship. You got to give it to the guy that's ever had the MVP. Especially with the, the type of numbers he's throwing up. Oh, man, that's crazy. Let's keep going. The Greek freak barely ahead. It's basically a dead heat. If you look at the, the number of wins their teams have, yes, the Bucks have the best record by like five games in the NBA, basically wire to wire, mainly because of the Greek freak. But they have an excellent supporting cast. And James Harden kept his team afloat with no one. And then when his supporting cast came back, it's practically like they can't lose. But let's see what happens down the stretch run. No Brogdon, no Miritich. Let's see what happens. This thing is not over. The Greek freak can ball out and still win it. It is that close. Well, I don't feel that way, and I don't feel that way for a couple of reasons. Number one, they're in the Eastern Conference. We spoke about that last week, combined with the fact that Budenholzer is there. Number two, even though Harden has benefited from D'Antoni's arrival, offensively, there were things that he was doing before D'Antoni ever, be, ever got there. That's probably why D'Antoni took the damn job. Number three, last point, February 28th, Molly. Since February 28th, this is James Harden's yeah. numbers. Points wise. Okay. 58, 42, 35, 31, 20, 28, 29, 41, 20, 31, 57, 61, okay. and 28. In the West, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's nothing to talk about. James Hart. Yes, exactly. He's doing it in the West and is absolutely killing it with those numbers. And people know he's coming. He didn't just pop up from out of nowhere. They know he's coming, and they know what kind of damage he can do, and you guys can't stop it. Except for Golden State. But that's a different story. We're not talking about that right now. Let's keep going. If anybody has any damn sense, James Harden will be crowned a two-time league MVP when this season's over. And the only thing that left to be complained about is that damn bogus ceremony that they give at the end of the season by the Players Association. Yeah. You play 41 nights in front of your home crowd, and you're in the postseason.